Hi, welcome to Center Stage Guitar Academy YouTube channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you don't mind, watch some of the ads, help us make a little bit so we can keep providing these lessons to you for nothing. So continuing our study of bluegrass um, guitar playing and improvisation, I want to go over um, three scales in the same position so that you can kind of work on your improv without having to shift a lot. And it's real common when you watch players um, improvising over bluegrass, they, they, they can solo over these usually three chords, but stay in the same spot. So We've learned um, that one of the scales used, they use, they use a lot of different scales, but it's a lot of uh, pentatonic major, some pentatonic minor, and what I refer to as the country scale, but is also the same as the blues scale, if you remember the blues scale. Um, now that was an A blues scale um, there. Now, played over um, A, that sounds like blues. But if you play that same scale, but you start on a C, you start on the second note of it, now it sounds a little more country-ish, right? Um, And that's a lot of the sound that they use for the bluegrass things at the country scale. So in this lesson, I want to learn the G, C, and D country scales in the first position up here by the nut, by the, uh, the bottom of the neck. Uh, that way, you, you know, as the chords are changing, you need to change your scale approach for each chord. So, you know, we've been studying G, C, and D, which is really common in bluegrass. So chord progression like this. Be really common. Two bars of G, two bars of C, two bars of D, and two bars of G again. Um, so we need to know the G, C, and D country scales, which is again, it's the same fingering as a blues scale, you just the root note is different. So for G, let's take a look at G first. Our blues scale is you can use the open E, but it's not the root note. The second note is the root note. There's our G. But you can use that note still when you're improvising. So we got open E, third fret, then we go to the A string, open A, one, two, then D, open D, second fret D, then we have G string, open, second fret, third fret, that's our blue note again, then open B, third fret B, open E, third fret E. And there's our root note again. So our root notes are here for G, the open G, and then here. So we got. So again, I want to show you how it, the same scale sounds different depending on the chord that's playing underneath it. For a blues thing, if we were in E, it sounds bluesy. But if you're in, G, if you're playing a G chord over that scale, uh, see how it sounds country. So, you know, if you've been studying the blues and you know that fingering, it makes it pretty easy to, to adapt. Um, so that's the, the G. Just remember that the G is the root, not the E. Um, okay, so that's G. Now let's take a look at the C uh, country scale in this position. 
So it's gonna be, there's our root note. So the first note is A, you can play your low, uh, your A string, third fret, then you got the, on the D string, open one, two, then open two, so we got, then we got one, three, four, so we got, then you got um, open, E, third fret, and then you can keep going up five to eight and get you another root note. That's C there. Whoops. So you can see how that fits over that C chord, so. Okay, so that's that. So get that down real good. And then uh, the last one is for our D chord, and that's gonna be, um, you can start here on the first fret. It's an F, but so you get more strings in. So one, three, four. And you got open A, third fret, open D, third fret. So we got. Now our root note, our lowest root note for D is just gonna be this open D string here. Um, then you got um, open G. First fret, second fret. So we got. Then you got first fret, third fret, and then first fret, third fret, you can go four, five. And if you want to end on a root note, you can slide up to the D here, or just play the open D. You know, if you want to end on a root note, um, just to kind of resolve it. So there's our D chord. That gives you kind of an idea um to get those three down like really ingrained in your brain so because these changes go by quick uh you know because bluegrass usually play pretty fast you know you need to know you know when those changes are coming by so this is a start get really familiar with those scales play around with different combinations, see if you can come up with your own licks. And um, in the next lesson, we are going to actually study, in the next few lessons, we're gonna study some specific licks in each for each chord um, that you can concentrate on and give you ideas. So we're gonna do that in the next lesson, covering blue bluegrass licks in the key of G.